Have you noticed that at this time of the year, which is a dry season, your systems always struggle to get you in energy from the solar panel? You will notice a very considerable drop in your energy production. Do you know why? <laughs> there are two reasons, guys. Number one is that the UV of the sun is usually very low during the dry season. That is very shocking because people always expect the dry season to always give you the best of yields on your solar panel. But unfortunately, it's not exactly the case. And secondly, the very main reason or the very cheap culprits is the fact that the solar panels are always covered on dust. You can see that you have dust on this solar panel. But we're actually lucky. It rained like a couple of days back, so the solar panel is not really like very dusty, dusty. All right, but you still have some residue of dust on the solar panel. So essentially what happens is that when you have the dust on your solar panel, it covers the eye of the cells. So the cells does not see the sun as much as it should. So it's no longer absorbing the photons and electrons as it should. So naturally that makes you to have a very low yield. So you see that the output level, you know, is really dropped. So there are two things you can basically do. One involves money. The other one is free. You can oversize your system. So oversizing essentially means adding more solar panels than you need, all right? So in such weathers or situations or during the dry season or hammer time when you have a lot of dust and the UV is not so good, you'll be able to harvest a great deal of energy from your solar panels if your systems are oversized. But secondly, if you don't have money to do that, there's something you can do. You can clean up the solar panels, all right? That's part of the maintenance. So during the dry season when the solar panels are covered with a lot of dust, you clean them, you have them cleaned up so all you need to do is to get a mop get water you can decide to use detergent it's not compulsory you can just use ordinary water plug a hose get on the roof and begin to scrub and clean you will notice that the moment you clean your solar panels the output level will jump more than leap <laughs> so what you're essentially going to do is that you you will oversize your solar panels so the extra solar panels in times like this is going to give you more energy so we're trying to add more solar panels here so me and my man oliver oliver is right here oliver is pretty good at what he does man <laughs> he's pretty good all right so me and oliver we are here so we're trying to add more solar panels to what is already existing here so that we can have more energy and all of that so that's essentially what we are doing here to ensure so naturally you will test to make sure the solar panels are all working so we want to add solar panels we're adding those other ones over there so we're adding a whole lot you know scattered all over the place just to um, add more energy to what is already existing here all right so that's it because when you have dust on your solar panels like you do right now it actually drops your output by as much as 40%, and that's very, very remarkable. All right, so if you want to increase the output level, or if your solar system is really struggling to bring you energy, this is what you have to do. Get your host, get water, get a mop, get to work and clean the solar panels. In that way, you'll be able to double the output energy that you're getting from the solar panels. But if your roof is way too beyond your reach, like you have a very tall building or your roof is very steep, then you need to call the installers, okay? Because in terms of safety and all of that, it's not something I think you can do, all right? So if you know that it's beyond your reach, you can do it. Get someone to help you clean it, all right? So always know this, that the dry season and the hammer tan down here in the tropics always affect your energy output production from your solar panels because the dust entirely covers everywhere so you need to clean them and ensure that you have a lot of energy coming from the sun all right directly from the sun so the solar panels are going to be harvesting it all right hi right, guys so we are we are done with adding the extra panel to be able to give us more energy up in the solar panel uh, like we talked about the essence of this whole thing is to increase the energy output we have here because they are beginning to use more energy here and we're also experiencing the issues that come with um, uh, dry season and of course hammer time, lots of dust and all of that and very bad UV of the sun. So we've added extra solar panels so we're just ensuring that the systems are all working well. So the systems, everything is you know pretty much kicking the energy it should. So the output energy has been almost doubled. You know, so everything is pretty much good. So whatever is the real-time energy that they're using here, it's going to be satisfied. 
all right thank you so much guys for being part of this if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe all right don't forget to comment share and of course like and see you in the next video